So here I am in FreeCAD and I want to go over hotkeys and what some of the you know basic and fundamental hotkeys that you use are. We'll go to part design and I'll start a new part with a new sketch on the XY plane. Now most of the hotkeys that I use in FreeCAD are in the sketch environment and I think for pretty good reason. Uh, FreeCAD I can sketch faster in FreeCAD than pretty much any other platform. Uh, Alibre Pro allows you to customize your hotkeys, so I can arguably do about the same in Alibre. Uh, so FreeCAD and Alibre are great, and I think this is a feature that really sets FreeCAD ahead of other platforms um, because they've got great hotkeys. So I'm going to hit the A key, and if you're interested, I'll bring up my keyboard monitor here so you can see the keys that I use visually. We can come down here and say 20 degrees. I can uh, create a vertical constraint, right? Because these are just 20 degrees apart, but not vertical. I can select any two points and hit V for vertical. Likewise, I can do the endpoints on the same line and say V for vertical, or I can select a line itself and choose V for vertical, right? And the same thing with H for horizontal. It works on both points and lines. Um, H for horizontal, there we go. So we've got vertical, horizontal. We have an angle hotkey to create an angle between two lines. Uh, what about distance? This is a fun one. So I can make a distance by clicking on something, preferably diagonal, and hitting the shift D key. Shift plus D makes for a distance dimension. You can see the distance is running parallel with the line. But I can also constrain two points or an entire line horizontally or vertically. I'll select the endpoints here and hit shift H and that gives me the horizontal distance to constrain. And that means the line is still free to uh, move about um, in other ways, but horizontally it's constrained. Same, I can select the line and hit shift V for a vertical dimension, right? So distance, vertical and horizontal dimensions all work off of two points or even lines. Now I can choose a coincident, which is kind of fun. I can select these two points and hit C for coincident, and that will line them up. Um, likewise, I can choose equal, right? What if I wanted my lines to have an equal length? Well, then I'll highlight both of these and hit the E key for equal. I can choose a symmetric co constraint, right? And this seems to work well with points. So symmetric is S. Let me uh, change my toolbars here so we can better see. All right, so symmetric is going to be this guy right here, like two carrots, and the um, short shortcut for that is S. So I hit the S key, and I can select a point, right, some point of reflection, and then my other point. And that might vary the order that you uh, would select it in, depending on your version of FreeCAD. I'm in 018 right now, actually. I should be in 019. Uh, I can hit C to make those coincident, right? We have a nice, you know, symmetric relation between these points now. So that's symmetry, S. We can also choose parallel. So if I draw some more lines around here, and I wish these lines to be parallel, then I can select my two lines. And for parallel, I simply hit the uh, Shift P key, right? Shift and P. I can do the same thing here, Shift P. And that will make sure that these lines all remain parallel. I hit the tangent key. All right, so maybe I select, well, I draw an arc, but I want this arc to be tangent. I can highlight my arc and my, li and my line, and there'll be T for tangent. Now I can also make these coincident with the C key, right? We have now a nice tangent arc. <laughs> I can make these 
C for coincident and then V for vertical, right? You can see how fast it is just to select things with one hand and add the constraints and relations with your left hand, which most of the FreeCAD shortcuts are from the left hand. I don't think that's a coincidence. All right, so we have tangent. How about a sketch fillet? Now, normally, you know, you'd come up here and choose sketch fillet, but we can add a fillet right here simply by hitting the F key and selecting two points on which to create our sketch fillet. And that's a quick and efficient way to round out the sharp points of our sketch. We can fix a point onto objects as well, right? So I can uh, maybe draw a line and I'd say, oh, I want this end point of this line to be somewhere on this arc. Um, that's pretty easy. I just highlight both as I have and hit shift O. And now the sketch makes sure that my line stays on my arc somewhere. So that's a great way to fix a point onto an object now perpendicular. Let's say that I want this line and this line to be perpendicular. I actually choose N and N will add a perpendicular restraint to make sure that this line and this line are 90 degrees apart. We can import external geometry, and this is kind of a fun one. All right, now um, I can close my sketch. We end up back in the part design workbench. and <laughs> Let me arrange my toolbars once more. Maybe I'll uh, create another sketch here to demonstrate this next one. We'll choose the XY plane. And part design will allow me to make a rectangle. So let's do that. We'll close, we'll create a quick solid because we need a solid. Um, so if I edit my sketch now, let's say I want to import onto my sketch some edge here. I can hit the X key and that's a shortcut to import geometry, right? So that is a really quick, fun, handy, easy way to import geometry into a sketch. Uh, we also have some sketch elements that we can create. I'm gonna delete my pads so it doesn't clutter up my view. In fact, I can even go and edit my original sketch, which I think I've broken because I just deleted that. So we'll delete that. Okay, so how do I create a line? I'm gonna hit L for line. So L creates a line. We can create a rectangle with R. So we create a rectangle, letter R. Um, now sometimes I might be you know, having kind of a weird view and maybe it isn't easy to select the origin. I can always hit Control Shift O and that will select the origin for me. Now a really fun and interesting one is Close Shape. I can create you know, four lines and have them be disconnected and how about I highlight each line we're gonna say uh, for close shape control shift s actually control shift s and that will connect all four lines into a closed shape uh, so that's pretty handy if you have a bunch of lines that you want to close all right so a few other things um, we can do a radius right New radius here and I say shift R and that gives me the ability to select the radius. I can also, if I draw another arc, make that a diameter. But what I have to do is come in here and say constrain diameter. Now if I hit shift R, it will constrain the radius as though it's a diameter. So you have to uh, be cognizant of what this is set to to know if you're doing a radius or diameter. You might end up with half or twice the radius that you wish to have. All right, so those are some, you know, pretty reasonable uh, hotkeys for the sketching environment. Now, how about I open up a solid and go through views, which I think is the other great strength that we have in FreeCAD.
All right, so here's an F18 that I've been working on um, in FreeCAD. I started some videos on this, and then I got a ton of requests to do stuff, so I never <laughs> so far have gotten around to finishing how to do this in FreeCAD on the channel, but I do have a Corsair, so um, let's go with some of the views um, for hotkeys. So we can pan our view, you know, left, up, down, right, so the arrow keys will pan our view across the screen. We can also rotate left and right by holding shift, left, or right, but in pan will be up and down still. Uh, then we can actually unlock our view, or undock our view, I should say, by pressing V and then U, but don't press those at the same time. And our view is undocked. So then we can re-dock our view, and you can also full screen this, right? Just for a cleaner look. Uh, but we can re-dock our view by saying V and then D, and that will re-dock it. Um, what else is interesting? So we can zoom with Control plus and Control minus. We'll zoom in and out. Uh, we have isometric if we hit zero. Front view is 1, left view is 6, rear view is 4, right view is 3, top view is 2, bottom view is 5. And uh, we can, if we have multiple tabs open, right, if I start a new part, and now I've got these two tabs down here, um, we can advance tabs by saying Control Tab and I can kind of cycle through each of my open tabs. Now I can uh, go to my previous tab with Control Shift tab. And well, gosh, that doesn't seem to, you can see something happening up here, but anyway, maybe I've got an operating system uh, conflict, but under normal circumstances, Control Shift tab will just bring up the tabs in a reverse order. We can close a tab, right? Let's say I open this and I want to close it by saying Control F4. And apparently that's, um, it, maybe it's, that's an option in 019 or I have another OS conflict, but generally Control F4 will close a tab. We can go to a perspective view by saying V and P, right? Don't push those together. And uh, that will give us more of a perspective or a, a realistic view, or things that are closer to where you're viewing from are larger and things further away from your point of reference are smaller. Um, we can go back to orthographic by hitting V and O, right? And that brings us back to an orthographic view. So I think those are the main, this is not an exhaustive list, but those are the main useful hotkeys for FreeCAD. So I hope that was helpful was please subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.